For years, we've been trying to figure out how to break over from the smartphone to the big screen. And it seems like Samsung has finally been able to do that in a righteous fashion, should I say, with the all new Samsung DeX app compatible for Mac OS. What's up everybody, it's Average Tech Guy here. And today we're gonna be checking out Samsung DeX on the MacBook Pro. Let's jump into it. So the first thing that you are going to need to do is download the actual DeX app to your MacBook. Now I have my MacBook Pro right here. This is my 13 inch and I also have the website open. It's simple as going into Google and typing in DeX. You're going to scroll down and find that actual Samsung DeX website and it's going to bring you here. From there, you're just going to click on for Mac OS. Once you click on that, it's going to start the whole download process. Once it has been downloaded, you are now gonna come out of Safari. So once you are able to actually get this downloaded, you will get this little application down here in your tray. You're gonna just basically um, plug your phone up now to your computer and let's see what happens. But before we do, I'm gonna talk about a quick device that can help you. Now, um, you may wanna hook up different type of USB devices and this will be a great one to use. This is the Gearit. Uh, Gearit has actual extra peripherals on there. You have three USB 3.0 on here. You have SD card slot, micro SD card slot, a USB power pass through over here on this side, and you have your actual uh, HDMI right there. So if you ever want to use multiple peripherals anytime, I want you to check out Gearit. I'll be sure and link it below so you can do that. Now you don't have to use this type of device simply because your Note 10 Plus came with one of these. This is a USB-C to USB-C cable. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in and I'm probably gonna run it from this side just so it's not a whole lot of wiring on the back end. Now, I uh, also have a stand here and this stand is by Subcase. This is a multi-angle stand. I'll be sure to link that below too so you can check that out. Uh, that way your note can sit up while it's actually working and connected to this. So the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and just tap on the DeX icon. Now, it is actually connecting right now. I have it set up to automatically connect when we do this. I'm gonna make this full screen and there we go. So we have a desktop basically running right here off of our Samsung phone. Now, cool thing about this is you're gonna get all the functionality of your phone right here on your MacBook. Uh, you got the DeX icon down here. That lets you, um, it brings up the actual DeX panel. DeX panel looks like this. You're gonna be able to go through and do anything that you need. You can exit DeX, you can lock the DeX, you can go to DeX Labs. We'll talk about that in another video. But I just wanna kinda of hit the high points and show you guys what is going to happen. So when you plug yours up for the first time, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get my files, internet, email, gallery, and settings. And I am controlling this right here from my trackpad. In order to get that sound to pour it over, you'll come over here, click on your sound, and you can change your sound options. And if you right click, it's going to allow you to have sound coming from here over to here. Next thing, as far as your apps, you can multitask with this. Now, the same app cannot be opened. So if I have internet open over here, I can't open internet over here. And I'll show you, for example, how that works. I'm gonna open internet right here on my phone. I got the Google page up right here and I go to open it and right here it's gonna say, do you wanna restart this internet because it's open on another device? Now if I hit restart, it closes it on my phone and it opens it over here. Let's say I wanna actually go into my, uh, let's pick an app. I wanna go into my email over here or I wanna open YouTube over here. Open YouTube, there we go. So YouTube is gonna work over here I don't want to show anybody else's video, but YouTube is working over here and they just keep starting up. So I'm going to come here, 
YouTube is actually working over here three times. YouTube's going over here and we're scrolling. We're doing everything that we need. And over here, I'm able to use my decks. So I'm gonna leave that open right there. Like we said, YouTube is still open. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna type in um, Apple. Apple.com, Apple official site. And there we go. Apple is going to pop up. There we have it. So I can use my scrolling gestures, everything that I have on my computer. I'm able to use it right here with Dex. When you get finished, you go down here and click on this little button. It'll take you back home in your settings. If you ever want to change this background, you come here to Samsung Dex. Double click on that Samsung Dex. Wallpapers by Dex, and you have different wallpapers that you can choose from, and you can even pull pictures from the gallery. So it's a nice little feature, and I wanted to show you guys how to uh, install it and just give you my first thoughts on it. And I really am enjoying it. So if I'm at work and I want to sync these two up, and I need to type on a bigger surface, I got it. I can up open my files. Uh, let's do that. You can even answer calls from here on your decks. So it's an awesome feature. Uh, like I said, my files, you come in here, you got documents. I don't have any documents on my phone yet, but if I had any documents, I could actually open them up and use them at my leisure. Anything that I wanted to do, I can go into the internal storage. I can scroll through that. It's really full of features and things that we can look forward to so i'm excited to go on this journey with you guys i'm gonna update you when i find out new little features and i'll be back at you guys to show you guys more features here in Dex because we got a lot more to cover so hopefully this has been able to help someone out until next time be sure and give me that thumbs up please subscribe average tech guy out peace